fix mix at the markets or in a store or online and it says directions see easy video demo on our website or follow instructions below i want to see the easy video demo you're in the right place this is it <laughs> okay it's so easy all you do you tip your bag into a bowl and you'll have this bowl full of powdery stuff you add 500 mils no you don't add 500 mils read 200. the instructions 200 you add 200 mils of water so you tip that in give it a good mix with a fork or a spoon until you've got an even consistency don't put your, your hands in it's too sticky no all your dry stuff will soak the moisture up and then we want to leave that overnight in the fridge it'll go really nice and hard a lot easier to work with you don't do it straight away because you'll just have mush it won't work so leave it overnight you can forget about it for a couple of days even i've done that many times so when you can be bothered or you think oh i've got 10 minutes to make my bix you get your bowl out and here it is this is what it looks like so this is my bowl of this is what i've prepared earlier this and that's been, a full full packet that's a full packet so that's just got the water added and so you can kind of look at that there we go it should be like mud i guess or ice cream soft yeah. ice cream dough yeah. yep that consistency then we add 50 mils of oil so i'm using uh, macadamia nut oil we like to use macadamia nut you can use olive oil you can use coconut oil you can probably use sesame oil whatever oil you like those are the three that we like and we've tried so we tip that in here we go go that way my sink is over there okay so we just mix it all through just Live with a spoon first, I guess, is how I do it. And then I'll get my hands in there in a minute. They are clean, but they are gardening hands. Looking at my beautiful herbs, see? <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. I'm just looking at some of this. I'm very tempted to eat it. Okay, so we mix this around like so. And let's get rid of this spoon now. Okay. So it's a little bit sticky. It's not the best job, but... If you don't mind getting your hands dirty, there we go. Just making sure the oil's all mixed through nicely, yeah, we evenly. Wanna, like you can make it without oil. I've accidentally forgotten the oil and I've made it with no oil, that's fine. So if you're wanting to do the, you know, cut out the oils and that sort of thing, absolutely you can do that. Or you can do less than 50 mils, that's fine as well. This is just kind of, let's make an, a number to put on the packet. So 50 mils, there we go. And I'm a big fan of, you know, eating my good oils. and including them, they'll make your crackers more filling, but you can do it with that oil if you prefer, everyone's different. There we go. So, it's on there like so. So spread that mix over about yeah. two trays. Yeah, so you probably need, oh, two, two good sized baking trays. I've got one giant one and one medium size, so that seems to work for me. And then, what I want is another sheet of baking paper over the top. I'm just washing my hand in my sink. Mm -hmm. Okay, oops, this is gonna dry it on my pants. <laughs> okay. So now on top of that one, we've put our paper. Give it a squish down with your hand. And another one there. Should have centered that blob, but it will still work. Now, does it doesn't matter how thick you do it? It really does matter. So if you want a nice crispy, crunchy cracker, that's kind of, you know, snaps. Mm. Yep, nice Crunchy. And thin. Yep. You gotta make it thin. So you can use a rolling pin if you have one. Mm. Or you can use a glass jar. See the edges are kind of annoying this rolling pin, so what you can do is you can roll it out like this. Try to always keep in mind the um, shape of your pan, your tray. If you don't have a rolling pin, a glass jar is fine. So I'm rolling it out too. It's going to be well, sort of one to two mils. So I'm actually crushing all those little buckwheat bits in there. A lot of them will be squished. And the sunflower seeds a little bit squashed. So they've kind of plumped up overnight in the fridge. They've soaked a lot of moisture into themselves. 
and that's going to make them nice and crispy when we when we bake them this will probably work in a dehydrator as well i just don't actually have one but if you have one i'm sure it will work well i've made them a little bit thicker too and they actually nice they were crispy on the outside and got a little bit of chew in the middle yeah you can do little balls like little falafel balls as well that will work if you have a bit of leftover mix or if you want to do some patties we'll do some recipes but yeah i'm sure that grated sweet potato carrot onion you know lots of grated veggies will be fine in there okay so i think this is probably looking thin enough now so i guess the fun bit now with the uh with this is really just uh working the shapes you want jenny's already what would you call that? Shards? Shards. Long shards here. And obviously just a, the little square biscuits. But look, it's Christmas. Um, you know, you could do little cutters. Like if you go to any $2 shop, they'll have these little cookie cutters and things. So, you know, people's names with letters, smiley faces, circles. You know, just make sure you're using up all the bics. But obviously I'm thinking one of the best things here is dippers. So maybe little rectangles or something like that. Just to, to get in there with your dips and your hummus and your pestos and your you know your cashew and your fermented sort of dips and stuff there's so much now especially if you're shopping at the markets and really good health food gourmet stores have these wonderful dips they seem to be exploding haven't they exploding dips very dangerous at your well, christmas party there's, there's <laughs> so <laughs> many <laughs> no, they are exploding into the marketplace which is excellent to see great food exploding into the market. so let's just leave that one there's no use oh, okay. you don't want to watch that again no. okay so i've rolled that out flat taken off my top sheet and now we just want to cut them so you can use a pizza cutter that's really quick and easy if you have one um, so the idea is you're just going to score them so when they bake uh, they're easily snapped yeah yeah you can cut right through that's what i'm doing here cutting right through with a pizza cutter yeah that's easy like obviously i'm not too fussed about what shapes i'm getting there here we go we'll do some circle ones as well here we go you get wastage when you do shapes, obviously, but you can use those crumbly bits, you know. Not Nothing goes parties. to waste. Nothing you goes to waste. You can just chuck them in and eat them anyway. So once the uh, the mixes that you've got your shapes and cut it, how long do you put them in the oven for? Um, okay, so every oven's obviously a bit different. Be um, be cautious with them because they're very thin; they can burn easily. So my oven, it's 180 degrees. I set the timer for sort of 30 minutes. If you're a bit cautious, set it for 20, 25 and just keep a good eye on them. Just, you know, open it and check. And we didn't preheat ours. It doesn't really matter. You can just obviously bake it a bit longer, but I did bake a batch earlier, so. You probably can't hear it now, the audio is open. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's just the uh, the demo video. And So, look, there you have it. The Bix Mix, pretty easy. Just watch the uh, the oven time. Big, easy video demo. Easy, easy video demo to make them. Um, got any questions, there's a little comment thing or product inquiry. Love to get your recipes, guys. If you send We're going to start adding some, so please bring it on if you've got some great recipes for dips, for platters are such a great way. I love platters, especially for um, kids, getting kids and just adults, anyone to try new foods. You can put all kinds of things on there. People can nibble and pick and farmers markets have got some great you know, produce and dips and olives and cheeses and all that sort of thing that you can find and yeah, get into the garden, do some herbs and... So just quickly, if, if you're watching this video for the first time and you haven't bought yet, why is Bix Mix, um, I guess, uh, a great alternative to your standard packet mixes? Other than just because you can make your own, the shapes and stuff, just talk about the... So most crackers are kind of just a carrier. I don't mind crackers in themselves because you don't eat crackers by, you know, in my house it's like, don't just eat crackers. They're nothing nutritionally useful in there. These crackers you can, you can just eat these by themselves. They've got a lot of, um, you know, they've got protein, they've got diverse fiber, they've got some good fats in there. They've got, yeah, they're, they're very, very filling. You will notice that as well. You cannot sit there and just eat a whole heap of these like you can with a lot of other crackers that are nutritionally empty. These will fill you very quickly. Um, it's great, you can make your own shapes, you can actually get quite a good good value. Like, I mean, that's a 400 gram pack. You add what did that do? That did, that did all this and this whole... Yeah, so that, it did that all plus those. that, that is one from packet. just one packet. Yep. So yeah, they do go quite a long way. Um, yeah. Cool. It's kind of mildly spicy, not too bad, you know. Yeah, we've called it Middle Eastern Spice, so yeah. there's some cumin in there. Turmeric, some, turmeric. some black pepper, garlic, onion. Taste is awesome. Kind of slightly awesome. falafel so you can do yeah. your falafel balls. Yeah. We're yet to experiment with um, patties, and I'm sure you can do loads of patties, fritters, all that sort of thing, and we'll hopefully get those recipes up ASAP. But we just wanted to get this 
out there for all your Christmas party platters. Perfect for um, impressing all your gluten-free and your vegan and all, all the people that are trying to eat healthy, these fit right into some nice healthy platters. So if you're not convinced and you're not gonna buy yet, get into the markets and try them because when you taste them, that's when you'll buy them. Yeah, we've had people walk around the markets going, mm, they'll come back later and they go, I've still got the taste of that cracker in my yeah. mouth, give me some. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. Send your questions through and, uh, yeah, try some Bix Mix. Yeah, don't burn them. Make sure you keep an eye on the oven. That's the most important. And keep them thin. Roll them nice and thin. Cheers, guys. See ya.